Welcome to Crash Emmy's Podcast. What's good? <laughs> Episode 113. 113. 113. 113. You said that like it meant something. <laughs> I was like waiting for it. I don't know why in my head I was thinking of Ray Mysterio. It's it's the S319. 619. Oh, 619. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I got mixed up though. I told us Ray Mysterio. I saw Ray Mysterio at an MMA event and the nigga never took off his mask. So nobody's ever I've seen him You see him He did yeah. that It was that one thing I was crying I guess I keep my Cause mask he had that, like too. Super dilated uh, pupils Yeah 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 I think yeah. it was contacts though Probably coke um, Maybe you never No know. I This is what I wanted to tell y'all When we was outside Before we start the show So recently I saw A video Of a kid With Down syndrome Who was like Repping like a crip set <laughs> He was throwing up crip Yes, like blue bandana, everything. A video? Yeah, so he down down. What do you mean? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Like he he's down and he's down. Like down. Like he he down the- with the set, and he also down. He got downs. He down down, double down. Well, thank you guys for subscribing <laughs> to the Patreon. We just had a new episode come out <laughs> on Monday. So if you're not in the $7 tier, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube as well. Rate us on Spotify. Rate us on Apple Podcasts. Um, how are we starting this show off? Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was his name? Uh, what was I going to say? Like, I, was, I didn't say this during um, the Discord. I said the Discord. That's nigga choking. <laughs> the, um, the- oh, so Kylie Jenner. Was talking about how she regretted getting um, surgery mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And my thing is that a lot of these women come out and <laughs> no, 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 it's not that kind of a podcast. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, when we start doing this, <laughs> this nigga, angry as hell. a no. lot of women need to stay in the fucking kitchen. No, I don't. No, say that. but a lot of celebrities in general, they always like try to tell you something not to do after they already benefited from from doing it. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. like Kylie doing uh, surgery when she was saying before she wasn't doing it. Yeah, freaking Jay Z selling uh, drugs and shit. Now he's saying I shouldn't have did it. Yeah. Nigga, that was the reason I was listening to your rap. Nigga. You were selling shit. Jay Z said the same thing. He's talking about investing in shit now. I was yeah. like, nigga, no, we we want to sell drugs too. Nah, nigga. I'm listening to your old album, nigga. You stole three cars, nigga. Let's let's get back to that. So yeah, it's always like obviously I understand it because sometimes the best. Teacher is experienced Like I already experienced this And I can tell you But I don't know I don't I, I hate when people Are accusing you of something Already And you deny that you're doing it So people are thinking Just a natural way Or just an easy way to do it Yeah like those Without saying Those, the, those big weightlifting dudes Be like yeah. Oh you gotta eat some fish oil <laughs> Yeah And stop eating vagina Or the liver like, king what? <laughs> <laughs> That was the liver king he Oh yeah the, liver yeah. king like, And he, he was fa- He was on Freaking Roy's. Roy's, right. Why you give everybody your Roy's treatment? Yeah. Nigga? You could have got this a lot quicker. Exactly. The Roy's and the little uh, whatever he was doing after that. Yeah. I know that Roy's probably gave us that as micro penis. I know. I thought micro penis was an offense. Micro penis is an actual thing. Yeah, it is. Like, it's niggas out here with like diameters. <laughs> 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 this nigga just <laughs> Well key here y'all <laughs> <laughs> But no but like That's crazy ain't it Diameter Diameter is this crazy thing to say I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie I don't know if that makes sense I don't even know if it makes sense That's why it's so crazy it is Like what when, Every time I seen a diameter thing Like a scale or something like that I It's know. always little You like force a nigga to use Google You know that But I thought di- not, Like diameter, I use Google I more when I'm around like you the circumference, like, like the circle Or maybe I meant millimeter now yeah, yeah, that's what you meant. Because <laughs> diet, right? It's like a straight line passing from side to side through a center of a body or a figure, especially yeah. a circle. So it's like the, so you like gonna split the penis down the middle, nigga? Like what's going on? Oh no! <laughs> what? Five minutes in the rear. Whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> hey, 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 man, come hey, in the camera, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, I get in the camera. Hold on. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck it do? <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you going from here? You know, you know, racist white people hate when like black people get real close. So somebody definitely just called you a monkey. <laughs> they just exited full screen mode. Back up, monkey. <laughs> white people hate that. Oh my god! Why are you so close, boy? Um, 
I guess we can uh, talk about aliens again. Okay. You said you don't believe in aliens. No. I I just wanted to come back to that. You don't believe in aliens. You don't believe that there's any other life form outside of Earth. Um, Intelligent life form outside of Earth. Maybe. I don't think that aliens have, like, we've come in contact with aliens yet. So you think everybody lying? Yeah. You think they just gassing it up? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything. You don't think I just don't know. I just... People think that that's why I always hate when people think that's a big mastermind at the top of a chair do muha ha ha ha, right? Right. People but, think we living in a be, simulation. Yeah, because yeah. people if someone one person knows on this earth something, best believe somebody else knows. I don't think people are, are holding it down like that crazy. Yes, them old white men definitely are holding you think, down. You think secrets, so? They're not snitching? Sure. You think it's like I think that shit to their deathbed, you think? Like yes, this I would have thought I would thought someone would know. It's like CIA agents. Bro, CIA I know, but y'all going from right this, now, y'all this. teetering between like Illuminati and aliens, nigga. Like, <laughs> like let's let's come together, my nigga. Like, where is God in all of this? <laughs> <laughs> Not playing. But uh, what if somebody tells you that they don't believe in God, but they believe in aliens? I mean, that's most people that do believe in aliens. Probably, I feel like atheists a hundred percent believe in aliens. That means gotta believe in something, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, you gotta got some more like believe in something. God <laughs> damn. In themselves. <laughs> for real. <laughs> they hate they hate that people give God credit for something. Mm-hmm. Nah, God didn't do this. Mm-hmm. I did it. I did it, man. <laughs> I grew these plants. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, uh, shut up. You about to burn for a century, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's why atheists be so mad. They already made their choice. You know, you know, they not even seeing heaven's <laughs> stairs. <laughs> them niggas getting sure for right down. <laughs> they, them niggas are choosing just to be wrong. I know. This <laughs> thing, <laughs> like the thing, I, the thing I don't the like thing about, about them is that either they'll never know if they're right. Because right. it just it just sees it exists, you see it exists, right? Or you just never believed in any of the religions. That's what I don't <laughs> get. They're just so they're so annoying, bro. It's like you niggas don't even fucking ch- like get the like you want to don't you want a choice? <laughs> What's wrong with these niggas? Like these niggas, are like, oh, I'm not just gonna believe it is what it is. So if there is one, all you have to do is believe. If there isn't one. Part of you was right all along. <laughs> like you dumb as you fuck. Even know if you were right. I can't wait to I can't wait to hear them niggas scream down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit burned out. All you had to do is read one book, nigga. If you read Genesis, you wouldn't even be there. <laughs> oh, oh shit. No, nah, for real though. Niggas about Whoa. to be sizzling down there. Whoa, bro. <laughs> niggas, these are hard headed, bro. <laughs> hey. You know when you order um the steak fajitas yeah. at a uh, Mexican <laughs> restaurant and they come out? <laughs> That's how the niggas about to sound in hell. <laughs> That's right, all you hear. They we gonna sound be, like a nigga hitting. They gonna sound like a nigga hitting the punching bag. We gonna be up there <laughs> flipping steaks and shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Them niggas gonna be down there listening to R. Kelly and shit. <laughs> <laughs> step in the name of. Step in the oh, name of. Oh my gosh. Hotness, bitch. They got R. Kelly and Michael Jackson though. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Michael Jackson? I'm trying to think of who we get. No, bro. Uh, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Uh, who the best singer that we gonna get? Bob Marley. Bob Marley, I think he was righteous, man. <laughs> he up there. Whitney Houston. Dang, I got Whitney too. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Let's move on. <laughs> man, they rap party's gonna be lit though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anywho. <laughs> How we get that from that to aliens, bro? <laughs> Niggas always want to talk about religion and uh, women's rights on this show. Nigga, get this show back in order, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck going on around this bitch. What's really going on? And like in the, in the crash dummies community right now, I see a lot. Of, I see a lot of negativity. I just want not negativity. I see a lot of people going through sad times, man. If you going through sad times, you listening to this. And you're really going through sad times. Just know Crash Dummies is with you. Trying to make you laugh at all times. That's all I got for you.
Oh my gosh. I hope that's I, enough. <laughs> uh Travis Scott came out with an album. Oh, speaking uh didn't this nigga uh So nobody everybody just dropped the stampede shit, right? What? Oh, no, he, he 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 never got uh, convicted. But I, but I thought it came out that his team did nothing to like stop it. Yeah, but yeah, the, they don't care about that. But the the court case is dropped. Like it's over. He won his case. I mean, he's not guilty though. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think it's his fault it happened. They kept rapping. <laughs> he didn't know though. All right, <laughs> but the it. album came out. Yeah, that was, hey, <laughs> um, that was a pretty good album. I liked it. People Did compared it to it? Jesus. I, I would say it, it sounded. I feel like everybody's kind of like. I don't think Travis is in this experimental bag, really. But it was a little different. The beat switches, and there's just like a different type of sounding beats. Yeah, especially from it sounded like very futuristic, very like Travis can always flow on a beat. Mm -hmm. He know how to like change his voice. He know how to like. Yeah, he, it's always gonna be good. I like Especially how he, with his production. I team. like how he never has the features on the. I hate that on the song. I like it just for the first week because I think it changes. Because now I see the features on there. Mm -hmm. But I think for when you listen to it, so you just listen to it. I think it forces people to listen to it the way it's supposed to. And you might get to. a surprise, right? Yeah. You're like, oh shit, Twenty One Savage on here. Because when, when he's replaying it, trying yeah. to figure out who it is. Because when these rappers be making their albums and stuff like that, they sequence the album in a certain way where they want it to flow. Yeah. So sometimes when you listen to it backwards, I guess, <laughs> or right. on shuffle, it's just like you might not might like a song, yeah, or you yeah. might not, you might not know that this song, the end of this song, merged into the next yeah, song. Exactly. Yeah, all that type of stuff. Hey, a lot of people dropping albums. Uh, we probably about to get a Drake album. Oh yeah, the Drake. Uh, Drake was talking about what's his name? Pusha T again. You think Pusha, Pusha T? T? Oh, we just saw a video of Pusha T. Oh, uh, getting drenched in water. Yeah, Drake fans. Drake fans did that to to a, in a Kai, at a Kanye concert before, and I'm pretty sure like somebody ended up getting stabbed. Sheesh. When they was beefing, I think they tried to do that to Pusha T when he was in Canada last time. Uh, these rappers, bro, they got people riding for them that they'll never see. And like they, they, they don't even have the command to do this. Nothing yeah. on ten. Like yeah. you beefing with NBA young boy, it's like. Four niggas in Idaho that'll kill you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? There's people that would actually kill for some rappers. Kill, bro. Dick sucking at its finest. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Like, these niggas don't even, like, work that hard at their job. <laughs> <laughs> niggas. These niggas is locked into a gang 50,000 mi 50, miles away. <laughs> niggas in Ghana. The first thing is, it's always funny seeing people congratulate people on, like, celebrities on, like, their achievements and stuff like that, but yeah. I never see them congratulate their friends and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or just I, more. Some, but I will say it's like a, a hit or miss with that statement. No, it definitely because hit or miss. some people will be like, oh, you supporting all these uh, businesses, support your friend T-shirt. Well, my friend um, print his shirts off Gildan. And his shit ass. Yeah. So you want me to stop wearing my fucking billionaire boys club? Pay me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not, not wearing this nigga shit every day. I think when people like, especially like your friends, they start a business, they automatically think you have to support it without them even putting any effort to like. That's what the one thing we never did. Like maybe there was like a, a little control group that we had where we sent like our first clip to like, hey, just like letting y'all know that we about to put this out. And that was like our close friends. But. Like when people try to sell something to just your family members and friends first, that shit you never know if that shit gonna rock or not. Yeah. Because you never now you wasting time. Now you don't wasted two months in your life before you figure out, nigga, you ass. Yeah. And, I think with and a regular person would have told you that because <laughs> these niggas out here don't give a fuck. I think with everything and I've done, I've always like never really promoted too much to my crowd and try to like get a whole different type of audience exactly. every time. A lot of people didn't even know I was part of the Unfinished Legacy until, mm -hmm. like, obviously they start seeing uh, me wear the stuff all the time. But it's right. like sometimes I just want people to see it for what it is and just like it, not because they think I'm part of the brand or not, but just because it looks good. Yeah, you, know you always going to have those people that travel over that is, like, yeah. going to be a fan of whatever you do. But if you can get a new audience and yeah. then that new audience finds out why you have an older audience and then that shit match up, and next thing you know, you got OnlyFans for a million dollars a month. <laughs> I saw Le'Veon Bell said he want to get more intimate with his fans because he's he's like I got fans from boxing, I got fans from football, I got f fans. From I want to fight Le'Veon. Rap career, I think that'd be a good matchup. That'd be a good fight. Let's we go, Le'Veon. We get some clout off that. Yeah, one yeah, for sure. For beating the shit out of him. Le'Veon yeah. versus Mike. Hey, he keep making music. I feel like you can. I feel like you can challenge him on that too. 
I feel like he's not music? that big of a guy. <laughs> I fuck with Le'Veon. He's one of my favorite running backs. Thing, yeah, he'll fuck you over in football. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's definitely one of my favorite running backs. But nah. I definitely would want to fight him. We're about the same size too. Bro, I think that's a good matchup with yeah. fighting for sure. We're definitely the same size. So let's uh, hey, let's, let's uh, tweet at Le'Veon. Tell him the. Let's not, the tag only him. thing that even though I think you can beat him, Adrian Peterson. I know you can beat him because Le'Veon. Beat him. I think you can beat Adrian Peterson. I'm just scared what that nigga would do to you after the fight. <laughs> you gonna pull out a big ass. No, nah, I think we'd be cool after the fight. No, nah, I see. I see why he almost went to jail for giving his like son a whooping. Like that nigga is strong. Oh, Adrian Peterson. You don't remember that? Yeah, I remember that. He almost went to jail for a whooping. You know how strong you gotta be to yeah. almost go for jail for a whooping. Yeah, uh, you can go to jail for. What last time you had your ass whooped? Like by my mom. I mean by somebody. Like in a fist fight? No, 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 no. Like a whooping. A whooping? Like a punishment. Like, obviously, you're not retaliating. Probably like 16. 16? Damn. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. What a frying pan. Oh, you talking about one of them? Like, they just attacking yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there's, there's, what, always, that there's always a difference between like a scheduled whooping and yeah. like a, just a, a sporadic, like, you talked, you said some dumb shit in the moment type of shit. Like, if you say some dumb shit in the moment and your mom get on you, yeah. then it's just like, ah, she annoying, she, you know, yeah. she just hit me and stuff like that. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but if you got a scheduled ass whooping after the age of, like, 14... That's the worst, bro. Then that's bro, I, where you I, see those cases where, like, the kid killed the whole family. Because it's I like, y'all niggas this. scheduled me an ass whooping at nine and then really the, beat my ass. The fucked up... The, <laughs> fucked, no, up. the fucked up part <laughs> is that I wasn't even getting whooped by my parents. After that, I was getting with my like the other school, people. right? Yeah, the school. That was crazy. Up to like seventeen. Nah, I went to a Catholic <laughs> school, yeah. and they tried to they they talk about like beatings and shit like that. I was like, that shit so dead. <laughs> I was like, y'all never get another father, uh, son, Holy Spirit out of me again. That's why, I never, me. that's why I never joined a fraternity. A frat? Yeah, no. They be beating people in frats. They be doing a little some paddle shit. Some do. They be yeah. smacking asses in frats. Yeah, some, some of them. Do. Yeah. So what the? With a paddle. What they be doing? And some of them be getting branded. And I'm just like, I, hey, shout branded? out to all, yeah, yeah, shout out to all my uh, our listeners that are in frats. But some of that shit, it's a nigga that's a cute right now. Like, man, <laughs> fuck these niggas. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something nah, about shout out to the kids. <laughs> I don't know if that's like set tripping or something. <laughs> something. I don't want a, a bunch of bald head niggas like this at my doorstep. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what they be doing? Ah, hey, nigga, put your tongue in your mouth, nigga. <laughs> I some- hate them niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand them niggas. Niggas trying to party and shit. All I hear is a whistle. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Talking about move, move off the, the dance floor. <laughs> like y'all niggas picked the best song to do this shit. <laughs> do a play. Do y'all little dance to a song that's not that popular. <laughs> niggas wait till the stanky leg come on. Talking about do the stanky leg. Y'all got one to the stanky leg. Dougie. <laughs> How the fuck y'all got one to the Cupid Shuffle, nigga? What the fuck, <laughs> bro? It's already a dance for that, too. They talk about, down, down, do your dance, do your dance. Hey, hey, hey. Down, down, do your dance, do, hey, do, say, yeah. Like, was, and they do a remix. I was down by the river. <laughs> down, down, down. What the fuck? Do the Cupid, the Cupid, the Q, 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 Cupid Shuffle. Oh. They be drunk Jabberwocky <laughs> dancer. They be like, Big Brother Key, step up and say your nickname. <laughs> A bunch of freaky ass niggas. That nigga Key come up. I am Brother Key. <laughs> <laughs> nigga take his bonnet off. <laughs> Uh, who? <laughs> Get this nigga out of here This nigga got a .7 GPA <laughs> This nigga trying to make connections Before he get kicked out of school and shit <laughs> Let me join this frat Cause my GPA ain't looking too good I'm gonna need, need these niggas <laughs> Nigga in the group chat the next semester Talking about anybody into landscaping <laughs> Hey nigga ain't you 18 nigga? <laughs> Where you go <laughs> I, what was I even gonna say? I was just saying I, I've I've messed with all my friends. All my friends are in, in fraternities, but there's some traditions that it's okay to say. All right, this tradition is kind of dumb. We can just let this shit go. It, niggas acting like this is the the constitution. Like we can never change this shit. Like there's some shit. Times change. People change. If there's a tradition in your frat that seems a little questionable, it's okay to change it. 
Whether you guys make that group decision or some shit, mm-hmm. just change it. Come on, man. We've been jacking niggas <laughs> off for years. <laughs> Hold them down, nigga. We ain't changing shit. <laughs> like, this shit was made in the 1960s. Exactly. Nigga. I don't think y'all should change nigga, Bill anything. Bill Clinton was in y'all frat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas still marching, nigga. We good for now, a little bit. <laughs> These niggas still marching in town and shit. You know, black people used to not be able to go to the Walmart around here. <laughs> nigga, but you can, nigga. <laughs> How about my way, nigga? I'm trying to get some groceries. Niggas always trying to... I hate... Man, I can't stand like a preaching-ass dude, man. I just ran into somebody that was preaching last night. It was talking about saving money. Like, why you can. Like, nigga, my life is not going to be like yours. Anything can happen, young fella. Like, yeah, I wasn't on... I'm not on crack like you, nigga. Like, I don't need... I don't, I don't need to save up 100000 before 50. I always hate when people uh, be like, oh, cut your Netflix membership... Cut, you know, getting coffee and stuff like that. I'm because, sick of them. Because the thing about it is that if... Why are you sick of them? Because how you going to tell a nigga what to do? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm just, gonna, but I'm just saying, if, they, if if everything all together is saving you $100 a month, it's like, nigga, find a way to make $100 more. That's and, what I'm saying. And enjoy your life. Go, go slang some dick, nigga. Like, <laughs> there's plenty of retirement homes that need you. <laughs> For real, nigga, learn how to change a tire. Like, nigga, like, <laughs> niggas rather cut their Netflix bill. I need to learn. How to change a, uh, uh, you know, learn. That's sad. I don't know how to change a tire. Yes, you do. No, you know how to change a tire. You just like you just have to slow down. You know how to change a tire. I, the thing about me with no is preparation, that, I'm telling you, it's that easy. The thing about me is that I've worked so hard to get to a point in my life financially. I don't have to want to worry about that. Yeah, that's true. So it's like my tire is not like my headlight was. I could have simply just unscrewed that shit. I said no. I worked hard for this. I'm going to go to a place and get my head life. For fixed. a nigga that didn't work as hard. <laughs> oh, oh, my no, God. No, no. no, not like that. <laughs> Change my shit, nigga. <laughs> Since you don't want to work hard in life. Yeah. Changing wipers, too, whole ass, nigga. No, no, no. Shout out to all my Valvoline niggas. <laughs> those my niggas, too. Yeah, for real. Them, that's only, I don't fuck with them Jiffy Lube niggas, man. <laughs> niggas some hoes. What? Jiffy Lube niggas. Oh. <laughs> Why you Jiffy Lube niggas? <laughs> that sounded yeah, crazy. Why right? you eating Jiffy? I don't eat Jiffy. What is Jiffy? Peanut butter? Cornbread. Wait. Yeah, I'm it's tripping. cornbread. <laughs> Jiffy. It is, no, it's peanut it's, butter too, I think. No, it's cornbread. What the fuck? It's, they got Giffy, Jiffy? Jiffy peanut butter? It is. What? They're Jiffy cornbread too, I but, think. But it ain't not the same brand. I don't think it's the same brand. Nah, that's crazy. That Jiffy cornbread is that yellow box with the blue letters, right? Yeah. Jiffy cornbread. Yeah. No, it's a white box with the blue letters. The cornbread is. Yeah. So it is. Bruh. Thirty dollars for a bottle <laughs> of Jiffy? <laughs> what? That nigga looking at prices. So Jiffy <laughs> is that? So yeah, that's how it's spelled. Is it Jiffy? Oh, no, Peter? it's Jiff. It's just called Jiff. 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 Ah. yeah, Jiff. Oh, that was like that was a Mandela effect. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> that okay. was the Mandela effect. I about to say I know they ain't got the same damn name. It's like that. Oh, I only want to diss a company you work for. That you work with, I almost diss them. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah, I know you. I knew it. I was about to say. I don't work with them like that no more. Oh, okay. Them niggas. Nah. <laughs> work with who? Valerie? No. Nah. Oh my God, Keith. He used to work with Jiffy. Go buy, go buy the. Uh, go buy the uh, the cornbread. <laughs> Fuck that cornbread. When was the last time you bought cornbread? A long time. I haven't got cornbread. My grandma used to make the best hot water cornbread. <laughs> hot All right, water? we're at that point. Let's go to listener callers. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up? What's, what's up, up? What's up? Welcome what's to Crash Army's podcast. Hey, yo, what's up? Hey, he changed his voice. Let's go. <sighs> Cholo. Hey, yo, yo, your voices are a little bit like, no, my English isn't that good. You know, I'm from Germany. You're good. You're good. But, we got, we're we going to ask you the like, question, though. We got, we got listeners from all over, man. Yeah, okay, okay. So, hey, so what is, what is your best pickup line? Yeah, okay. Uh, um, so... It's a little sad, but like um, for you guys to know, like my dad, like he went missing when I was like born. You know, my mom is like missing. Like, like he left, or like he missing as like a missing person. No, he he just he just went missing. Like I don't know. Like my mom, she she said to me that he went missing because he doesn't have money to raise me. But like my pickup line is like my father went missing, but uh, no, what was it? Um, are you my father because I've been missing you? Yeah. 
this has actually worked before for you? But I think it's funny because like I don't know my dad because like he went missing. But still, like <laughs> it's funny. How long he's been missing for? Uh, seventeen years. I'm seventeen. Seventeen years. <laughs> this, yeah. Oh yeah, God. that's right. Nah, I'm still like up, I'm man. rich, you know. I'm 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 right now in Saint Tropez, you know, in France. Like I'm I'm chilling my life, man. I did my. Oh man! I, I raised myself, you know. Yeah, fuck, shit, I do my. Nah, fuck your dad. Fuck <laughs> that. Hey, fuck that nigga. <laughs> yeah, fuck my dad. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Why would he do that? Oh That's it. Did we turn him up that mad? Nah. <laughs> I said, if you turned him up that bad. <laughs> Whoa. That nigga. Fuck it, this nigga. <laughs> Yo, we apologize, Ooh. man. He never coming back. <laughs> Just like his dad. <laughs> That nigga banned from the podcast Just like his dad banned him from his life <laughs> I would have left 17 years ago too You racist ass nigga <laughs> Your dad's probably like This little nigga look racist <laughs> I'm out <laughs> I got a I got a I got a brand new You push call on this shit It's just the first person that DM. Call Yeah he says I'm ready I have to make sure you're talking about that person, so I asked you. Nigga, you answered uh, the question wrong. That nigga hurt. It's on you. You about to pull something. Hmm? You gonna pull something? Okay. Okay. Yo. Yo. Hey, where yeah, you at? I'm in the back seat right now. Back, back seat. seat? You're in the Uber. You're in the Uber. Oh, no. Nah, uh, we want a little bit of a trip, and I just took the back seat. You on a trip? Yeah, that's what I'm like right. That's what I'm like, on the call right now. Is that a si- is that a siren behind you? What's going on? Oh nah, I'm probably uh, the wind. I'm be real with you. <laughs> I'm about to ask you a question then. Uh, what right, What is your best pickup line? Alright, so honestly, I got two, but one of the ones is like if I'm just like talking to somebody, real, I'd be like, uh, I know you drive a Nissan. Cause I want you all to myself. Mm. Right? Does that work before? Um, it got a few laughs before. I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> <to you. laughs> this nigga a comedian. Nah, this nigga saying it to his yeah. guy friends like this dope, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not that wild. No. Yeah, what was the other? What, what was the other one? The other one is like if I, if I don't really know him personally. Well, I, I did it like in person before. But let's say um, I DM somebody right. And they'd be like, I don't want to alarm you or nothing. But I somebody's out here stealing your pictures and I post them, right? Uh huh. So that's when I told them my guard, and they'd be like, Can you send me a, a picture of the account? I said, Sure. So I'll screenshot Nash's account, and I'll send it to him. And they'd be like, Take you out of this world for real. Now, that's one of those common ones. That, that one got a few laughs. Wait, if, if it's whose account? Like, I'll send him like Nash's account. NASA? I'd be like, take you out of this world for real. Yeah, like, you know, the Facebook one. No, nah, that shit is, that shit started <laughs> off very creepy. <laughs> and then it yeah, ended. Yeah. Like, you know, like, it, it doesn't walk through the bed, I'm not going to lie. I probably shoot like 27% of that one. No, nah, I feel like you get pepper spray after saying, <laughs> I feel like you never make it to the next line after saying, you know it's an account sending your pictures around. Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't do it. I don't, I don't do that in person. I like if, if I don't know them, if I, I DM them. Like, yeah, that's worse. <laughs> it's even worse. Because they can't even see yeah. your face. Like, nigga, it's a predator. Yeah, all right, bro. Hey, appreciate, appreciate you coming you on coming the show, on, brody. brody. Yeah, no problem. Y'all be doing all right. Nigga parked at an airport. <laughs>
Oh, ass nigga. <laughs> Sorry about the audio of that one. Uh, man, fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the listeners. No, nah, I'm talking about him, bro, uh, for having that loud ass audio. <laughs> that be, that's the part that I didn't really hear. What's up? <laughs> what up? Welcome to Crash Me's Podcast. What's good? I'm good. How y'all? Good, man. Good. Where you from? I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina. What part? Um, Raleigh. Raleigh? Yeah, you got that eat country. <laughs> yeah, it's country. <laughs> I'm in the city part, though, so it's not that country. All right. I got a question for you, though. Um, What's your best pickup line? Okay, okay. Um, Like, if there's, like, a whole bunch of group of girls, like, at a bar or something like that, and you're trying to get, like, this one specific one, you just got to be like, of course, I can nod all the friends, like, hey, I just want to say hey to y'all, and then just look at that one girl and be like, Hey, I know you're with your friends and all that, but like, you're the one who caught my eye. Just had to tell you that and just walk away. And then her friends gonna be like, "Oh, look at that! Look at that guy!" And then they're gonna hype me up. I feel like they're gonna be saying, "Look at that guy!" when they talking to a cop. <laughs> <laughs> it was nah. hell. <laughs> nah, no. It's how, I feel like pickup lines are all about like how it like the if the girl finds you attractive or not. Is it creepy or not? Yeah. But that's a hey, you going over to a group of girls. That's pretty ballsy. A lot of dudes not doing that. Has that worked no, exactly. for you before? Especially if you got that like liquid courage on you. Like What's I'm a pretty nice guy, and girls like they like my eyes and whatever like that. So like if I go over there with some confidence, girls like that confidence. So I feel like they're like, oh well, he came up to all of us. But has it worked um, for you? How many numbers? Yeah, actually, I worked one time. One? One, one out of one out of what? It's somebody that was, was about to try this today before you said that last line. He, he almost got somebody pepper sprayed today. Like nah, I did. No. All you ladies look lovely, but you the one that caught my eye. And then you left afterwards. <laughs> no, yeah, then I left. So how many times? And then you said it worked one time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said it worked one time. How many times did you try it before that one time? Let's just say you got it. Never give up. <laughs> 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 it worked one time. Let's just say. Hey, I like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can keep trying. <laughs> Boy, Ben Wallace from the free throw line. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, man. What, what, what's that line like? Uh, what's that Michael Jordan line? Like, the ceiling is the roof or something like that? Like No, I think, like, you should. The ceiling is the roof. I think it's something like. The ceiling is the third point or something? No, I thought it was like the. You miss 100% of the shots that so you don't, you don't take. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, that would be uh, exactly. <laughs> like, I ain't going to say it like, How the fuck they got a ceiling on it? What are you talking about? Roof ceiling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know he got a ceiling like that, but like, what was your high school? Saying, what was your high school GPA? Like 3.4. Hey, hey, I feel like you made that How many kids did you have in your class? Hey, say that again? How many kids did you have in your class? It was a pretty big school. We had, for um, the senior class, it was probably... Maybe like 400. Okay, I didn't Oh, damn. Like right, we, were trying, we were trying to play you, but it didn't work. You good, bro. You good. You valid. You valid. <laughs> we tried, What's going on? Don't play me. We tried to get you, man. I was kind of smart. I'm smart enough. Smart enough? All right. All right, Brody. Great. Appreciate you coming on the show. Shout out, to, shout out to North Carolina, man. All right. Thank you, man. Yo. 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 What's what up? What up? What up? What up? I suddenly got like you're holding your breath. <laughs> give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, about to re- <laughs> nigga, make me want to breathe. <laughs> nigga, I, nigga, talking about give me a sec. I'll breathe for the first time today. I got on my lunch. I'm about to go to work. Damn, there you go. That's your regular voice. <laughs> all right, what's up? All right, bro. Uh, what's your best pickup line? All right, all right. So, you're going to go to a girl. I mean, this generation, you never know. I'm not trying to get canceled, but. Uh, you're gonna go. You're gonna say, "Who gave you that?" She's gonna respond with, "What you mean? Who gave me what?" And then you're gonna just say, simply say, "That smile." That's all you need to do. That ain't sound like that's all I need to do. That that's not bad. <laughs> like, I feel like any middle schooler hearing that right now is like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> that shit not working on no grown woman. <laughs> <laughs> that smile Who shit. gave you your smile <laughs> She'd be like Boy I got bills to pay <laughs> <laughs> Rent's due Yo 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 man fast What's good Good bro Welcome to Crash Me's Podcast Thank you thank you 
appreciate it. What's your best Yo, pick I, 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 When y'all done, I got a question. I got a question for my boy Mike. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> What's your best pickup line? So it's, it's play, it only works when you're in a crowd at a place. You find a girl, you gotta be like, "Yo, you looking for you know? You need to sit down. My face is a great seat." And you gotta you gotta get, check her out. Look her up and down. And you say it. I feel like I feel like niggas like you <laughs> should always like stay 500 feet away from every school. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what you mean? If you if you if you say it smoothly, they won't they won't be creeped There's out. There's no way of like. You're in public and you're asking a girl to perform a sexual act in public. And nigga, you, obviously, if you going up to her, nigga, you don't have a seat either. So you just saying the shit. <laughs> the nigga Listen, about. I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to break the ice, you know. I'm Talk, like, what just, ice? Ice because she's trying to find a seat. <laughs> <laughs> she's looking for a seat, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't think I don't think she's looking for a guy to talk to. Break the ice is crazy with that question. <laughs> no, nah, that is crazy, bro. Well, what's, what's the question? Crazy, but she'll, she'll giggle. What's the question you got for Mike? Mike, I want I want to tell you, bro. You you, you killed it that boxing match. And my question is, as a boxer, do you like do you like have a game plan when you go in there, or do you just go in there and just start swinging? Like like, what's the mindset of a boxer? I would be I be wondering, you know, like how how they they go in there and say, hey, I'm gonna give a couple jabs. Do a uh, hook or like, wait, what do y'all do? I mean, I feel like you just game plan for like who you're fighting. So I knew the guy didn't have that much cardio, and I knew he was gonna swing wild. So I just knew I just had to be patient. So that's basically it. You do go in with a game bro, plan, though. I respect that, man. That's I was gonna tell you, you, you killed it, bro. No, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, but I appreciate you guys. Listen, that pickup line is gonna work. Next time y'all out, no, it's not. No, no you, you're still going to jail. Just try it. You're still going to jail. You are going to jail. <laughs> Hopefully, they let you stream the fight in there. <laughs> Nah, don't tell them niggas you know me. Yeah. <laughs> why you, yeah. Hey, why you right. fight? Hey, Mike gonna be fighting his opponents. You gonna be fighting for your booty hole. Good luck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, nigga. Hey, I appreciate yo. you, bro. <laughs> hey. Yo. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Not much. What you wanna talk about? Why it sound like you just sucked the helium out of a balloon? I just uh, came outside of my work right now. Oh, okay. My fault. It's not like, oh, you just ran outside? Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> he was nice the whole time. I'm sitting here making fun of his voice. You're a real one. You're a real one. My fault. Go ahead. Ask the question. Uh, what's your best pickup line? So, this is what I got from my dude before. He told me. I actually posted it. So, uh, 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 yeah. Hold on. <laughs> doesn't matter. I guess it don't matter. Go ahead. Because you said, uh, you, said you got it from a dude. Yeah, he posted it. He said, try oh, it out. Oh, okay. I thought oh, he, he tried it on you and yeah. it worked. Okay. Yeah. Ah, nah, 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 nah. There's nothing wrong with it if it did. Hey, 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 it is what it is. 2023. But, uh, Go ahead. Post COVID. <laughs> but he said, uh, he said, uh, ask them, hey, girl, what's your, can I get your jersey, right? And she goes, my jersey, what's that? And you're like, yeah, your jersey. He's like, I don't have one of those. Yeah, your jersey, your name, and your number. Mm. Now, first, my friend told me, my friend that's the female that's not interested in, she was like, that's not going to work. So I went on a mission to prove that it worked. And I sent y'all in the DMs to prove that it worked. Yeah, it and worked. I got a number in my phone still. Yeah. How many times did it work before? It, <laughs> how many times did you try before it worked? Actually, I tried it twice, and it worked both times. Both times? Right. Okay. The Riz Meister. How tall are you, man? No worries, no worries, but I haven't tried it again. <laughs> <laughs> I said, how tall are you? How tall am I? Yeah. I'm 6'2". Six 6'2"? Two. Six two. Yeah. Sound, you sound like you 5'2". <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely sound like a mouse. No, I don't, I don't got a deep voice. I got a deep voice, bro. But, uh, I don't either, really. So how do they take you serious? 6'2 <laughs> like, no, with no deep voice? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've heard it before. They told me, uh, I've had people tell me I sound like a girl. I sound like a teenager, but <laughs> whatever. I look like a grown man, though. So that's all that matters. Hey, you sound like Krusty the Clown. Talk that shit. <laughs> you a real one, bro. Hey, keep using that pickup line, man. Hopefully, you find the one, find your wife. Two yeah. for two. I don't know. I would judge the girl that actually falls for that one. On guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hey, let me know for worse for y'all. <laughs> no, we're never going to use it. We're never going to use that. <laughs> All right, All right, bro. All right, peace. What do you say? When you was using the bathroom, I said, "Key, hurry up and get here. We got somebody on the phone." And all I heard is, "I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming." <laughs> oh, no. Pause. But this nigga won't take his first pause. Take Saying, what? Are you, are you wet? 
Bro, that's a Dave Chappelle. Nigga, you get wet? Nigga, what? <laughs> what gets wet? Nigga, go ahead. Talk to the listener, man. Wet man. Crazy. You said, are you, uh, those man. dudes wet already. Ask this dude this question. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Do you need relationship advice? What do you need? Any, what what relationship advice? Oh. What were you? <laughs> <laughs> My gosh! <laughs> think, this, what relationship advice can we give you? Hey man, how about I get rid of my girl's like gym partner? Get rid of her gym partner? <laughs> Why would you want to get rid of another girl? No, it's a dude. Oh, oh man! Is he who the tra- who the who the better lifter? That's the question. Him, one hundred percent. Like not oh, even the competition. He, is he, no, I'm saying, is he a better lifter than her? Like, is he teaching her stuff? No. Yeah. How many times they squat a week? Three. How, do they? Do they? Do she do bend over rolls a lot? Nah, I need spotter, bro. He be spotting her. You seen all of this before? Yeah. Well, how'd you nah. see this? Nah, bro. I look at her story, bro. She posts about it, bro. She tells me he's just like a. Friend trainer type thing, bro, but I don't believe it. I oh, tried going to the gym with him one time and he just lifted more than me completely. Did do he train her? How come you don't go to the gym with her? I tried, bro. But she said no? Nah, yeah. She said he's better. Oh yeah, you gotta get up out of there. Do he train her in other things other than the gym? Is he training her somewhere else? I hope not. Is she <laughs> is she better at anything? Than him? No, I'm just saying, like, has she started, like, since she met him, has she been better in bed? Yeah. Mm. I think she's pra- think it's stronger, bro. Nah, I think I think she's practicing on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, that's important. Any advice, bro? Any advice? You crying? <laughs> not this nigga. No, no bro, yeah, I'm not crying. Is like, not- this that guy? <laughs> no, bro. Yeah, it is that guy, but I'm not crying this time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is that sound you're making? No, nah, bro, I was just laughing, bro. <laughs> nah, man. Um, it's over. So I ain't gonna I lie to you. Um, for real? Yeah, yeah dumped that. Yeah, yeah. He's stronger than you. Go get your gun license. She, <laughs> she, she not letting you come to the gym. So he 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 grow. Wait, her. does she hang out with him outside the gym? Not that I know of, bro. Not that you know of, nigga. Where do you be? <laughs> Right? Is this your yeah, girl? I, nah, yeah, yeah. I just got summer classes, bro, so I'd be busy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a wrap for you. Did she start lifting the like lifting in the summer when they started? No, nah, no, nah, she no, nah, no. Nah, she was lifting prior with the bro, and then I met her. Oh, okay. So you might have took her from him. Nah, I don't think that's what happened, bro. I don't think you know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nah, bro. Can you beat him up, you think? Nah, bro. I got to stab him. So. Okay. Okay. We can get somewhere. You, you, it sounds like you already devised a plan. He said stab. Like, <laughs> yeah, so. Don't say too much, nigga. Have you talked to him before? Like, I had a full conversation with this guy. No, nah, yeah. I shook his hand, bro. And bro crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this yeah, might, be yeah right. might be right. Hey, just because he, just because he's stronger than you, don't mean he's better than you. It just means that he'll beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> All right, hey man, he might be better than you. He might be. All right, man, uh, stay up. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, congratulations on the fight, bro. I oh, appreciate that, man. I know you got taken out. <laughs> I know, just like dude taking out your girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill, chill, chill. All right, Brody. Uh, bro, be safe, guys. Yeah, you, you be too. you too. <laughs> you be safe. You be safe. <laughs> We're protection now. Watch, right? Because you don't know what yeah, the dude I... might have. You know? No. Yeah. Yeah. The committee he gave you gonna be stronger than you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I might be crying. <laughs> all right, all right. Sure, 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 sure. All right, Brody. It's a lot of bad pickup lines, huh? Yeah, that was a lot. Of, <laughs> that was a lot. It was. It's a lot of dudes that need to go to jail. <laughs> just like I feel like there's like some of those. Those one of them was good. I just didn't want to admit that was good. Yeah, <laughs> to me, pickup lines overall are like garbage. Like if you got, I know it's always hard to like. It, obviously, the the question was a, a setup type of question in a mm-hmm. sense where it's like we knew we were gonna get funny answers, but 
Yeah, I feel like pickup lines are like I don't know if people actually use pickup lines anymore. I think if somebody likes you, they like you type of thing. You just like have a conversation with them. And right. Just, I feel like then- pickup lines are people that lack personality. <laughs> like you're trying to start this conversation off with a bang because you yeah. know you're about to ask her her favorite color real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Green. Oh, my sister likes that too. Like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit is trash. Can you got a pickup line? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, hypothetically, no, oh, hypothetically, what would be my pickup line? Actually, <laughs> should I just be like, "I like you, and I want you"? Oh, <laughs> we can do this the easy way. No, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 no, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> don't you hear us saying stop? <laughs> you gonna keep going? <laughs> they should know where that joke is from. I know, but <laughs> you can't say it. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh damn! <laughs> Shit! Why they got a man? Imagine the nigga being in court like, oh damn! <laughs> I ain't know we couldn't do that. It's like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> right around the 1920s, nigga started getting <laughs> stop that shit. All right. So I was somewhere and I saw an Amber Alert, but this is the first time I ever seen an Amber Alert where they describe the guy, right? Mm-hmm. Describe who he took And it said on foot Because usually they describe the vehicle Saying like silver, you know, Cadillac or whatever They say on foot And I was like two blocks away So yeah, so I wasted 20 minutes of my day Looking for this nigga <laughs> What the fuck is Listen, when I tell you That's like the one person Where it's not frowned upon Like, okay, if someone just murdered someone, right And everybody's looking for the murderer Right, and you find them and you run them over with your car. You're gonna be charged. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna be like, "Man, what the fuck you was doing?" You know, innocent until proven guilty. Right? Mm-hmm. If you catch like a pe- pe- pedophile or a sex offender, man, you can do whatever you want to that nigga. I was gonna run that nigga over. <laughs> Hell no, you can't. Yeah, you can. They still gonna lock your ass up. Hell no, judge gonna be like, "Good shit." <laughs> judge gonna be like, "No." Bro, if I had an AK and I knew where a, uh, like a sex trafficking thing was, man. An AK? Yes, I'll spray that bitch up. No, you wouldn't. i kill everybody in there. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. But you still get charged? Hell no. Nah. You think they won't charge you? Nah. Nah, they charge you. <laughs> they definitely charge you this nigga. Hell you nah. gonna be in the same prison cell as them niggas. So, so if, you're first pe- degree murder. if you're a pedophile and I see you, <laughs> blowing your shit back, nigga. I hope oh. so. Blowing your shit back? That's not crazy. Blowing your shit back. Blowing a pedophile shit back. No. I can't get away Let's with that. Let's get off this subject. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, Errol Spence versus uh Crawford. Is 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 Errol Spence got Shout out these. to Shout out to Omaha. Shout out to North Omaha. To shout out to both of them. I think I think that I said I, shout out to Omaha. Nigga, what are you talking about? I mean, shout out to both of them. To oh, both of Omaha's? No, both of the people. Because Omaha is the only one person you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so shout out to both of them. Bitch, but um, <laughs> but I think it's crazy to see how much like levels they are to like boxing sometimes because you know Errol Spence is still elite, so people don't shouldn't get that twisted. He's still elite. He'll still beat your favorite fighter. Um, but there's like elite, and there's the. There's elite of the elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the godly. The, yeah, because he a, made that look crazy. He, he made didn't him look, look ready. No, he just made him look like he was not like. <laughs> I mean, just player. like not to dive too deep into like boxing, yeah. like it was just like a bad matchup. But like you got the <laughs> the best counter puncher in the world versus somebody who's like telling you their game plan. Like he's like old school type of boxing, yeah. like. I'm about to come right at you. I'm jabbing. I'm trying to get inside, <laughs> but it's boxing. Yeah, and you beat. got the you got the great you got a switch like bro. He can switch the southpaw mm. and orthodox, whatever. Yeah, that was just it was just a bad matchup. That, that was a good fight though. I, I, I liked it. it was I will though. say I do. Obviously, it's like a everybody's talking about uh, Errol Spence hydration and how it took his power away from him. Will it be a different fight at 154? I don't know. I don't I think, think so. I, I don't because be he didn't land. It's like not like he was landing punches <laughs> on him, and then Crawford was like, "No, nah, you weigh one forty seven now." Hurt. Like, I don't think it worked well, no, like that. Crawford did say it was a clip of him saying um, he felt his power, and he was like, "That's it." Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but still, like, yeah, Earl Spence wasn't knocking niggas out. Also, 
like in the first round or like he never had like no. But he was still knocking these out though. Yeah, but he never had no like one punch knockout. Yeah, like I mean, I don't think Terrence does either. Yeah, or yeah. Terrence is a bit. That, that, that's why they call him the best finisher because he like once he hurts you, he'll finish you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, pretty boy Floyd used to be like that too. Pretty boy Floyd. Yeah, because it's two. It's two. It's <laughs> two. Di- it's two. I know. I know. It's two different type of Floyds. It's like Pretty Boy Floyd, like the beginning when he was yeah. knocking people out. Then it's like the Money Mayweather where he wasn't getting touched and uh, Mexicans was calling him a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the That's nigga don't this, move. The nigga keep I moving. I think you saw uh, Jamel Char- Charlo uh, get slapped and ain't do nothing about it. I feel him though. If somebody slaps me and I have a fight coming up, like it, it, it all comes to down to like. Do I want to risk twenty million dollars getting into a scuffle with a nigga right now, and potentially getting hurt? Because like you never know who's gonna jump in, security pull you off, and stuff like that. It's kind of it's a tough pill to swallow, but at that moment, I probably would have acted the same way. Like nigga, I'm about to make bank. Yeah, I'm about to make generational wealth right now, and I'm not. I'll deal with this nigga later. I would have tried like, this to not at least be, block it. Yeah, but yeah, he probably didn't see that one coming. No, nah, he definitely. You can tell how he was standing. <laughs> yeah. Caleb Plant known for trying to smack people. I saw a video of him smacking, uh, trying to smack Canelo. Yeah, because uh, Canelo took. Uh, <laughs> I think Canelo, Canelo uh, Caleb Plant told that nigga he's a motherfucker, and then Canelo, I don't think he really understood the translation. He was like, "Don't talk about my mother. Don't talk. Don't talk about my mother." <laughs> 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 Definitely. Uh, yeah, he swung on Canelo. Canelo ducked and gave him two. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that was, that was so it's like a fight. difference, but. I obviously, but that's who he was fighting also. Yeah. So it's like different. Anyways, off that man, shout out a great boxing mm-hmm. event, man. Yeah, for sure, the yeah. UFC fights, UFC fights. Only one I really saw was Derek Lewis. Oh yeah, and I saw um, what you call it get kicked in his head. Uh, Dustin Poirier. Yeah, I got a question sorry, for you though. Sorry for the thir- uh, you know, our thirty one percent of ladies that's like hearing this and don't know what the fuck we're talking about right now. <laughs> but uh, Beyonce concert fire. <laughs> there y'all go. What's the worst dog name? Charles. Why? Why would you name your dog Charles? I hate any dog names that start that are like human names. Really? Yeah, I don't like that. Obviously, the the one that would be the worst is nigga. <laughs> no, I name a black dog, nigga. I'm just saying. Now, what white pe- people supposed to call your dog? Negro. Negro. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody else said, um, "Help." Mm. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Come here! Come here! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That'd be a bad one. Hell yeah! <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> Help over here. <laughs> That video of that dude um saying gun wa- see gunna walking out, right? He has his camera like this, and it's like gunna snitch, gunna snitch. Oh, look at that snitch gunna. And then the security walked up to him and started pressing him and said, What'd you say? And then he just said, I said, Look at Gunna. I was like, bro. Yeah, yeah, hold be- for that. <laughs> the yeah. thing about why people care so much. If he a snitch, I don't know. I just think people like try to go viral, but I don't know like what his thought process was when he did that. It did go viral. Yeah. Um, but you look like a hoe on camera. Yeah, they say, I'll sue you. You mean if you guys touch me, I'll sue you? Yeah, like, you yeah. want to sue. <laughs> I hate yeah. niggas. Niggas be thinking they can just sue for anything, too. That's what I'm saying. You can't sue if one of his boys beat your ass. <laughs> you don't even know his name. <laughs> that nigga just be like, yeah, I ain't know the nigga that hit <laughs> Exactly. Good luck. He's going to have you in court for three years trying to get $1,000. <laughs> You're going to send that and uh, double that in court fees. Yeah. Really triple. <laughs> Shit like that. Like, why are you going up to a celebrity? To calling them a snitch, I feel it's like it doesn't affect your life. Anymore. Yeah, I feel like just people just feel those are the NPCs, bro. <laughs> the NPCs is crazy. No, nah, that's just real, bro. Like, these <laughs> niggas, like, like nothing exciting has happened in their life. Yeah, that's how I feel like what trolls are. I've still like as much as people think I'm a troll, I've never jumped under anybody's comments and like roasted them for absolutely no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they were trying to do something. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to the comments like, this shit ass. You know, or this shit was whack. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think I've ever left that type of comment. Like, nigga, where your dad at <laughs> and all <of> this? <laughs> do you think people not having their dad in their life is a catalyst to a lot of shit? 100%. You, it's only two. Di- they, you can, like, now you can split it right down the middle. Yeah. A nigga that don't have his dad in his life is either super successful or the nigga's a bum. <laughs> There's like no, ain't no ain't no regular nigga that lost his dad. <laughs> Hell no. That shit no that shit either motivated them or them niggas some whole ass niggas. <laughs> hey bro, get a grip. <laughs> get a grip is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's your dad did on that steering wheel when he left. 
Huh? Steering wheel? Yeah. What'd I say? I don't know why that just sounded weird. Grip on the steering wheel? Yeah, I don't know. So, Come on, man. Y'all want to catch me in the go. pause moment so bad? <laughs> How is that a pause that moment? That wasn't anything. We just were checking. We were just checking the temperature. Better watch you. That nigga keep keeping ankle socks in business. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know another. Well, wear long tube socks with no, shorts. No, those are long ankle socks, though. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like wearing tweeners for socks. <laughs> Nigga, I don't NBA socks. I got to protect my ankles at all times. No, nah, that's crazy, though. <laughs> no, that's I actually like crazy. socks, bro. How many, how many pair of ankle socks you got? Not that many. Actually, I got a lot of long black socks. Yeah, I definitely keep a uh, <laughs> black Nike socks. Mm-hmm. They gotta be the. You <laughs> gotta keep a pair, man. They gotta be ba- making yeah. bank right now. Hell yeah, <laughs> they give me every time, every time, and they start off with great quality. About a month, they gotta yeah. be like, God damn, where the quality go? <laughs> the shit the that shit feel I, like it I get up mixed up when one of them is a little bit more black than the other. I know like that, one of them a little darker and like you, more new than the you, other one. When you buy your new set, you separate it. Exactly. Nah, I ain't fucking with you, baby <laughs> ass niggas. <laughs> you ashy black ass niggas, man. <laughs> Socks are like they need lotion and shit. <laughs> why, why, why Nike be doing that shit on purpose, man? <laughs> How often should a person buy socks? Man. I say like I, once a month. That's kind of crazy, but <laughs> once a month? <laughs> Nigga, what are you doing? Drawers full of huh? socks. Nigga, what are you doing? Working out, bro. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I think there's no time limit. Me, I just, my socks just keep disappearing. Yeah, I, I feel like that's everything. Like, yeah. with quality, your undergarment, like, underwear, like, when them bitches. No, I feel like underwear lasts. I got these Lululemon uh, underwear. Them bitches yeah, are. Yeah, you them, go expensive. Them bitches yeah. elite. Yeah. There's niggas out here that wear, like, the Hanes boxer briefs and shit. And hey, they, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Bud Crawford hey. just had that shit on. Yeah, and they got a rip and a booty hole and yeah, shit. Yeah. Niggas no, no, not the booty hole. What you talking about, nigga? <laughs> you I'm just saying, backwards? niggas. <laughs> nigga Pat wearing his boxers brief backwards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? I don't wear boxer briefs. <laughs> I'm saying before you what, did, probably. Oh, oh, you wear tidy whities like the, the tight those are, no. those are what boxer briefs are Oh dummy. I meant boxers Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This nigga got on underwear <laughs> nah, nigga can't, And they key wear a thong and shit. <laughs> Hell no. Nigga key wear a hey, nylon thong I actually got an idea what we're gonna do To end this podcast off So for people that aren't in the $7 tier Yeah Mike about to finish y'all off <laughs> Oh my gosh let me say what I'm about to say. So, what we're going to do for you guys is we're going to play you guys some bits from the Patreon episode and let y'all listen to if it's worth it for the $7 or not. And then, I don't know, subscribe. Right? Yeah. Okay. It goes, here's, it, here's, goes, here's, it goes some bits for some bitches. Yeah, <laughs> some bits for <laughs> bitches is crazy. Oh, yeah, Key, would you get a... Uh, I asked you before if you would change your name for Subway because they're giving out free sandwiches for life. <laughs> Right? So would you get a subway tattoo for free subway? How big does it have to be? What? The tattoo. A big subway. This Freaky is- ass nigga. Freaky. Like this big. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. No, like, like this big. Ah. Wait, is this, what do you think is when you, somebody's describing penis size? And they going like That's this? That's what you do. Is it this? <laughs> is, it, is it full hand? Or is it like it's just the fingers? length of it? No, I thought you were talking no, about. No, so I thought you were talking about if a nigga describing like you talking about length or width, like a nigga describing like the width of his dick. No, nah. not even. A, not even a dude. I'm just saying that people in general. That's why, nigga? Like if the girls talking to her girl and be like, oh, how big is he and shit like that? Are they doing like the finger? Because I feel like the finger looks yeah, a little disrespectful. That have, that have or do they do this? I've met girls. That I feel like if you do this, it makes it seem like it's smaller for some reason. Yeah, that's, that's you what you're going hand. for because you're trying to be accurate as hell. Like, but it's trying to be like I feel like if you like this, this is like way better explanation. I would. That's funny that we would we will never experience that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never like there'll never be a moment where I have to do this. Like, <laughs> it might. What? I've done that what? before. Huh? I've definitely done that before. To who? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it to myself before. I ain't gonna lie. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, the, the only time I ever like vividly seen as a grown man seeing someone's dick is, is <laughs> Wait, what listen. The fuck are we talking about? <laughs> no, listen. It's a nigga. You saw it too. Hey, it's a nigga. It's a nigga at our gym, bro. He had elephantitis. <laughs> Man, Titus, he had a big bro, dick. Nah, man, that nigga dick was like this big. <laughs> I 
I said, what the fuck? <laughs> bruh. I know bruh. what he's talking about. <laughs> bruh, that nigga had elephantitis. I said, bruh. What the I fuck? said, bruh. Elephantitis? Bruh, listen, no, no, bruh. No, no, no. Man, when I tell you that the shit. The fucked so, up part. The shit's like, so much. The shit's so much. talking about. He know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I wasn't looking. I saw the corner of my eye. The black dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> It was a black dude too, <laughs> bro. Listen, I'm talking about no, no exaggeration. Like this wide, <laughs> this long. Nigga had elephantitis, bro. Like, bro, no matter Ooh. where you look at it, you can turn away. <laughs> you gonna see the, the shadow nigga, of the that bitch walk going. around naked in the lock. He walk around naked in the locker room. <laughs> All you hear is it, doom. Doom. Hey, it's cr- it's crashing into the lockers. Hey, you know, you know. Doom. Dude, <laughs> what, you know when you're like in the locker room, you always trying to keep like your peripherals pretty straight, right? Yeah. You keeping everything straight, just looking. You talking, you making complete eye contact, like on purpose. <laughs> like your eyes are open way wider than they need to be. So, <laughs> so we walking, but then you see something in your peripheral, like just like, and you're like, no way, nigga. Like, no way, nigga. Like, this shit, really? this shit Look, real? No, no, bro, listen. This shit real, bro. No, listen. No matter how, like, you could be like, oh, shit, oh, shit. Eventually, he going to be at a it's, point where you like, bro, I got to, like, what the fuck is going on? Because like, he look, look like a kid. Like, look. Like, he, it's like seeing something like this in, the, in your peripheral. Like, you're trying, I'm trying, I'm looking at you, right? I'm trying to ignore it, but, like, it, something is drawing me, right, to look what the fuck is that? Somebody clip that and send it to me. <laughs> Because that? <laughs> that's the only it only makes sense to me because I have my peripherals right here. Yeah, yeah. I oh, like this. I, yeah, yeah. but no, it like like insane and like he. I don't even know if he's a good dude because I can't keep a conversation with him. I'm like, nah, bro. Nah, I never had a conversation with him. I nah. just, he said, what up? And that's a- it. Hey, and if your back turned towards him while he walking towards you, you better attend her. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so that nigga. Slide through, slide it's through the side. No, it's like oh yeah. <laughs> hey, that nigga nah, bumpy chin. Bumpy chin say my bad, bro, bro. I don't care. That's when my last day at that gym. Like nigga, don't hit me with your dick, nigga. <laughs> he said it's like a child. It's like seeing a child. Bro, I thought he had. Thought he's hiding a kid in his shorts. So he's surprised, nigga. It's a toddler. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I don't know. I would even get on that conversation. I don't know. You started it though. You kind of went crazy. Said. Nah, <laughs> to start a dick conversation is not a good feeling, man. <laughs> You're that friend in the group. All right, <laughs> I hope you guys like that. Um, Let me know if y'all fuck with it. All right, but uh, our Patreon people, they already know. It. We, you know how we get down in there. <laughs> Wait, what how we get down in the Patreon, man? There's a nigga that just skipped to this part. Then he talk about what? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas just fucking on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, appreciate for y'all for listening to the podcast. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, keep sharing our clips. Our clips. We're starting to see our clips a lot of places right now. So keep sharing it. Keep supporting us. And yeah, this is episode one thirteen. Nigga ain't say please or thank you. I said I already said I appreciate it. Nah, that ain't enough. All right, you said you say fuck half the niggas. Oh, let me listen to this. I mean, even as I said you fuck half the niggas, that's still you. All right, bro, we out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, episode one thirteen of po- uh, a a podcast, podcast. <laughs> of every podcast in the world. Let's <laughs> end this shit of Crash Dummies podcast. Peace. Open the door, huh? Philip, open the door. What, Philip? Bye. <laughs>